Detective Crane was a 10-year decorated officer of the Hampton County Police Force, was assigned to the Ludlow Indian Orchard Traffic Division that weekend. While heavily in pursuit of a 1979 Cantaloupe Cream Monte Carlo Firestone tires snubbed around a pair of bleached chrome white rims for failing to heed the stop sign swerving in and out of traffic lanes. It was in the wee hours of the morning. 5.15 is what my dash clock read as I inched up close enough for my dash state cam recorder to record this vehicle's plates thinking it was one of those north end street racers up to no good for the vehicle began to speed up I gave chase veering up Page Boulevard towards the little conjunction up the way, the Mass Pike, 291, which would bring you to the center of town. It was then I disabled my flashers on my police vehicle to motion this vehicle to pull over, blaring my side rings twice, looking carefully to see if I could make out the driver then I realized I couldn't. I couldn't see anyone, more or less recognize. If anything, so much so, what first looked like a head, and in fact wasn't, was just the headrest of this vehicle. Nevertheless, I continued the pursuit when the vehicle suddenly slowed down, coming to an abrupt stop, pulling over to the side of the road. Woo! Woo! Detective Crane approached the cantaloupe cream Monte Carlo, stepping out of his vehicle. Turn off your vehicle and put your hands on the steering wheel. What started out as a routine traffic stop in pursuit has now immersed into a blown out traffic violation. While grabbing my intercom hanging off of my collared shirt, my hands and my head tilted to increase the volume gun in hand, hands on the steering wheel. Again, I shouted. That's when I approached the vehicle, driver's side door, took off my shades, looked into the vehicle, driver's side window, startled, in confusion. I couldn't, I couldn't see anyone in there, anyone in the car. No one was in the car. The engine was rumbling, exhaust, fuming the air, the hood of the vehicle was warm to the touch. I just opened the door and unlocked and looked right in. The back seat, nothing, nothing, no one was in the car, no one. 